Hi, I'm Tripwire. I've spent nearly 800 hours in Borderlands 2 already, but I figured a few more couldn't hurt. I'm jumping on the Borderlands 3 hype train and I'm gonna do it all. Level a fresh character, do every mission, complete challenges, and farm legendaries. This is Borderlands 2 Easy. Hello, and welcome back to Borderlands 2 Easy with me, Tripwire. It is 12 minutes past midnight. Uh, it's been kind of a long day, I feel kind of tired, but at the same time, uh, it's right in the middle of my weekend, and I just wanted to make sure I get a handful of these episodes recorded while I have a couple days off, because then it's right back to work for another five days. So, here we are with episode whatever we're on of Borderlands 2 Easy. I'm pretty sure this is episode six. I'm pretty sure it's episode six. That's the best I can do is pretty sure right now, but welcome back to the loudest fucking place on Pandora, the Bloodshot Stronghold. Thank you for coming back. I hope you've been enjoying the series. So listen to that! That dial the dialogue volume is such a three. Why was that I, I just There's everything is so loud in here. Alright, well we're gonna try to blow through this place because it's just for one thing, I've never really enjoyed uh, getting through the Bloodshot Stronghold, but also I, I want to spare your ears and my ears and get through this bullshit place with our hearing undamaged and intact. So we're going to try to blow through this while also opening shit for challenge purposes, so I guess blowing through it isn't going to work that well. But... Okay, you know what? Let's just... Can we... Will this help? A little bit. Just think about how silly the th that is that I had to turn the vo- Uh-oh. Um... Okay, that guy's really low, but he's also doing the classic Borderlands 2 thing of backtracking, but I'm also the best at aiming, so it's okay. But yeah, the fucking- this place, the volume is at one, and it's still- It's still like a perfectly reasonable volume, like if I were streaming with a little bit of background music, this volume would be... ...fine still, just because of how imbalanced it is in here. It's pretty crazy. But, okay. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for supporting my non-RuneScape content. It's, uh, I don't know, it's, it, it, it a lot of the time feels not genuine when people say shit like, thanks for watching my content, it really means a lot, you know, you, you hear that kind of thing a lot if you are a frequent watcher of Twitch streams, a frequent watcher of YouTube videos, you're gonna hear shit like that a lot, and the thing to keep in mind is that the average person saying that does mean it, uh, and that some people who are saying it don't mean it that much, just because... Some of them are making buttloads of money off of YouTube or off of Twitch, and, um, you know, some people just don't have that morality that the rest of us do. And they might only be in it for the money, but they're still going to say, hey, I appreciate it, and it means a lot, even if it doesn't, because that's what makes people come back, that's what keeps their loyalty, and keeps making them money. So people could be doing it, just because it pays the bills. So, you, I know you hear that a lot, but I want to stress the fact that it is true. And, um, it's doubly so for content that is not RuneScape content. Because, for you to support content that you did not subscribe for is doubly worth my appreciation. If you know what I mean. So, go ahead and drop a point into there. No token. Man, these psychos just melt when I'm using the Lisko. It's pretty sweet. Damn. This is actually a really good gun right now. I kind of underappreciated it, actually. I don't really tend to use it on my other characters. I just wanted to show you guys, and I'm really glad I did. Zippity zap. But yeah, this is a this was a RuneScape channel. I, I can't say as it was a RuneScape channel. It, it's It's been a nothing channel for a while. And I'm of the opinion that Something is better than nothing, even if that something is not RuneScape anymore. And hopefully you agree with me. If you're here, you probably agree with me on that, so thanks. 
but I really do mean it. Uh, when people watch me stream Borderlands or anything that's not RuneScape and anything here, it really does mean that much more. Because to build your audience from something specific and then to not continue that is always going to be met with backlash. You're always going to lose people. And actually, I streamed a little bit of old school RuneScape today. Two hours of it. Um, uh, after last night, I was just kind of feeling it again. And like I had said, I'm not quitting the game. I just won't force myself to play it. But, uh, yeah, the moral of this story is this place is loud and thank you for being here. Uh, those are the two morals. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Of course, he got close enough to me to avoid that grenade damage. Uh-oh. Okay. We're just gonna do this just to avoid an unnecessary death. I've had enough of those already this series, and it's, which is ironic, I think, because, like, I'm... Doing this series to be like, ah, oh, I've played this game a lot. I'm pretty good at it, but I could be better. And like, I feel like I've died more times during this playthrough already than I would going all the way through normal mode, like off recording, you know? It's just silly things keep happening. But what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay, I was stuck on. Uh oh. Oh, Christ. Oh, that's going to be a fun challenge to work on. I forgot about that one. Short chained. The challenge where you have to find nomad taskmasters and shoot the chains to release the midget. That's. I actually wonder how many midgets you have to free. Oh god. I did not expect to get hit from behind by that grenade. I wonder how many midgets you have to free total for the um, highest tier of that challenge. That's, that could take a while. Not sure though. I've never done like a challenge hunting thing in this game before, I don't think. Like I've I've oh, no that's not true. That's not true. Um I did challenge hunting on the Xbox. But again, I don't think I was strict about it. I don't think I made myself do like a, literally every challenge. That'll that'll be a new thing. Owie. Mad Mike, you're a dick. Alright. Mad Mike can be a serious pain in the ass on future playthroughs, because he I think he always uses a launcher. Um, and his launcher can roll with different stats on it. So sometimes it's easy to avoid his projectiles, and sometimes it's really hard. But no matter what, it's a launcher, and it's always going to do a lot of damage. So on the later playthroughs, particularly Ultimate Ball Hunter mode, he can be very dangerous and cause getting through the suck hole area there to be kind of frustrating. Right, my inventory is already full. At least we can sell at the beginning of the ramparts. The only problem with the Lisco is the accuracy is not great. The nature of it. But, uh. Oh, can we shoot the chains? Can we shoot the chains, please? Working on this challenge while I'm here is gonna be something I thank myself for later. Gonna be smart. Okay. Please? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Okay. It's. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay if you just. Thank you. So many of my fucking shots were hitting the uh, thing in front of me. Move your shield. Thank you. Um, so anyway, also, I just wanted to say, I didn't address this before, but if you're concerned about this, which maybe you're not, if you're here on episode 6 or whatever, um, but if you're concerned about the fact that, oh, Tripwire is uploading this lengthy Borderlands series, and then he's going to do Borderlands 3 videos probably, um, if you're concerned about the fact that Borderlands will be my sole content on this channel from now on that's not i'm not saying that at all i'm not making any plans for what the content is going to be um basically that video making a change to my twitch channel was me saying hey i won't force myself to play runescape anymore and i think it's just, i'm just gonna stick to that theme i gotta sneeze <coughs> awesome love it when my recording gets interrupted by my body and I can't do anything about it. Awesome. And now I have to leave that in because I'm talking about it. I can't just edit it out and pretend that I'm, I have a point that I'm like, I'm rambling, but whatever. So I'm not planning anything out anymore. Basically, uh, the stream is going to consist of me playing whatever I want. And the YouTube channel will consist of me uploading whatever content I feel like making. Um, this is one that I've been, I'd, you know, thought about for a little while before putting it into motion. I had to 
consider it. Consider the uh, the parameters of the series. I put a lot of time and thought into the into the making of the intro because I wanted it to really, really um, fit the, the theme of the series and be nicely put together. So that was obviously, obviously planned out, but that doesn't mean that I won't upload something else. Like if something crazy happens in RuneScape and I want to show you guys, then I will. That kind of thing. Um, so, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people have already unsubbed for me after seeing the first episode of this series. But I just want to say that just because it's a lot of Borderlands between now and September doesn't mean it's going to be only Borderlands. The main point on both platforms is I'm going to play what I want because I think that will lead to me being a happier person. And I will also experience a lot of games that I wouldn't otherwise. When you force yourself to play RuneScape all the time, you kind of miss out on a lot of other amazing gaming experiences. And it took me forcing myself to play Dark Souls for the first time to really realize that. Uh, and it really reminded me that there are tons of great games out there that I have not experienced. And if I only play old school, I won't experience them. And that's a shame. And uh, I had tried... Dark Souls very briefly um, when I was a lot younger, and I just didn't have the patience for it. I rage quit it right toward the beginning. And thanks to Rob, I actually stuck with it, and now it's one of my top three favorite games of all time, right behind Borderlands 2 and Old School RuneScape. And I want to have that experience a lot of times again with other games. Good to finally meet you in Hi, Roland. Hell of a job fighting through those blood shots. Thank you. I was pretty proud of myself, too. You see how I uh, domed that guy while in Fight for My Life earlier? Maybe you didn't see it. You were in a jail cell. You didn't see it. The viewers saw it. That's what matters. The viewers are what determines the clout. That goes hand in hand with the shot that I made. You might be cool and all rolling, but you're still wearing camo pants. What What is up with that? Pandora is so different from Earth, and yet you have camo pants on. Now let's see about getting out of here. Maybe we're not so different, you and I. But anyway, like I was saying, I uh, if I had forced myself to just keep playing and streaming nothing but RuneScape, I probably wouldn't have gotten so into Dark Souls, and it wouldn't now be one of my favorite games of all time, and it wouldn't have reminded me that there are pretty much endless games out there for us to play, and not all of them are good, but like, tons of them are, and I want to have more revelations like that. It was actually really refreshing. Because it had been a really, really long time since I discovered a game like that that made me so excited. And it was a long time before I discovered something like about myself like that in a long time. It was very enjoyable. And I've actually been playing Dark Souls the last two days again because it's on my Xbox on backwards compatibility, like I said. So I've... <laughs> I'm already like halfway through the game again, or maybe like almost at the halfway point. Yeah, about probably almost halfway. In just a few hours, because I played it so much, but it's it's just always fun. The game is so masterfully designed. I am gonna work, keep working on Dark Souls 3 as well. I have that access to that on Steam because I share libraries with Rob, but I'm doing a blind playthrough of that. Slowly, slowly working on it. But yeah, if you haven't unsubbed already, don't unsub because you think that I'll never upload RuneScape content again. Um, because I won't make any promises about doing so, but I'm also going to say very, very clearly here that it is not my intention to never upload RuneScape content either. The channel is just going to be a general tripwire channel where I upload gaming content of some sort or another, or maybe even vlogs again. Like, who knows? I'll just upload whatever I feel like, you know? It's just going to be my main YouTube channel again, where I feel like I can upload what I want. And if we lose people, then we lose people, you know? But if you think you might want to stick around, then that's awesome. And I don't even know why I'm talking like the people listening to this video might not stick around. Like, clearly, if you've made it to this episode, then you've probably already made up your mind. <laughs> I don't think people are going to, like, watch episodes one through six and then be like, nah, I'm out of here. Seems like uh, something that wouldn't happen. And feel the Lisco losing its crazy effectiveness against these guys that it had against the human enemies, but... 
still pretty good, especially when I can land those crits. Owie. Um, I guess I can try turning up the volume again. I don't know if it's uh, a little super loud out in the ramparts or if it's just indoors. I can't remember. But we're going to try it. This was at four. That was at three. All right, sorry if you've gotten used to how the volume sounded before and now this is gonna be loud, I, I apologize, but we're gonna have to adjust back to it together. Uh, I don't think there's any reason for me to use that instead of the let's go. Oh, hey there, bud. Let's don't, let's don't do that, okay. You too, let's, let's don't. Don't. Okay. One more. Red diamond. I always want to say dot, but it's not a dot. Diamond. Okay, yep. It's pretty loud. Honestly, now my perception is skewed. Like, I actually don't know if this is, like, louder than it's supposed to be, or if it's just because louder than it was a minute ago, you know? Fucking hell if I know. Boop. 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 I missed the second shot, and I said boop. What a tragedy. I said boop like I was going to hit it. Okay, now it's definitely still loud, right? It can't just be me. This is unreasonable. Maybe you're you're jamming out to this. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it, because once we are done with this stupid area, it should be fine. But holy crap. Like, why? How... Like, an oversight's an oversight. It happens in gaming all the time, game development, but like, how has this never been fixed? These audio setting bugs have been present for six and a half years now, right? This is baloney. Also, I don't know if you guys experience this. I'm guessing you probably do, but do you ever, like, not necessarily have a favorite word, but go through phases where you use certain words and certain phrases? I'm going through a phase where instead of saying something's bullshit, I say it's baloney. And I don't know when that started or why, but I don't know. It's kind of funny. Plus harsh. Oh god. Jesus fuck, that was not a pleasant thing to turn around and see. I'm so close to dead. Yep, yep, okay, fuck. Who just came over here? Gunloader. All right, we're gonna do this. Okay, and good. There's a little on the unfortunate side of things. Fuck you, gun loader. Yeah, I've been saying that that's baloney. And uh, I don't know, like it's, it's, I've been saying it so much the last couple of weeks or a few weeks that I don't even notice it anymore. Like, I notice it after I say it, but I don't even think about it before I say it. It's just, like, my go-to now. Which I guess makes for, like, a more family-friendly stream and stuff. <laughs> I think that's baloney. But not, not really, because I'll say that's baloney and then something will go wrong and I'll immediately say fuck right after, so I don't think it... I guess not. Steve! Yes, come in. I'm recording my series. What's up? Hey, is there something you'd like to say to the folks at home? You know, speaking to the mic. Alright. <laughs> okay, I mean, that was a pretty cool soundbite of the loader from Tales from the Borderlands I just put in there, but would you like to say anything? <laughs> be kind of funny if I could put what you just said side by side with the soundbite and see how similar it sounds, actually. Close enough. Nah, but what are you gonna do? What are you up to? Okay, I shall. So that was Steve. You probably know him. If you know me, you're likely to know him. Steve, my roommate. The other guy I'm doing a Borderlands Let's Play with at the moment. On our Let's Play channel, uh, I guess it's a good time to plug that. And the links of 
Link for that is always in the description of these videos if you want to check out not necessarily just the Borderlands content we do, because that's just the series we're working on right now. But we've done a lot of games. Uh, not all of them have started being uploaded yet, but... Okay, I need to get rid of that surveyor. It's pissing me off. But we played a lot of good games and some shitty games, too. But I think our cooperative gaming efforts... God, it's so loud here. I, I think that our videos on that channel have gotten a lot better recently. I am going to be fucking deaf by the end of this episode. My lord. But I think the quality of those videos has improved significantly and it's worth checking out if you like Let's Play style content. Sorry, I got quiet because I just wanted to focus on taking all this shit out for a moment. There we go. Five, five surveyors? That's that's the number of surveyors I've killed total? That doesn't seem right. It feels like I've killed a hundred, but it's just because I hate them. Uh, speaking of, there's another one. But yeah, that's Steve, my roommate. He, uh... If you didn't know, he also streams. Uh, I guess if I'm paying attention while editing this, I could throw up a link to his stream. He and I have spent countless hours making content together, talking about Twitch, brainstorming ideas. We both love streaming and... I guess all this is the part where I take credit for everything, because I actually introduced him to Twitch. It's super weird, we talk about this all the time, but uh, in college we were in a major called New Media. We were surrounded constantly by people who love technology, computers, emerging technologies like 3D printing was always a huge topic while we were going through school. Uh, and just like cool computer stuff, gaming, and uh, never once did anybody in our major, any of our friends, mention Twitch. So I actually discovered Twitch on my own after college. And I made an account. My first several streams were ghetto as fuck, but they were fun. And uh, for like the following year, Steve would come over to my apartment and we would play, we would play games together on my Twitch stream where we would just like play games that are meant to be played solo and we would split the controls or one of us would work the mouse, one of us would work the keyboard, and shit like that. And then eventually Steve made his own channel, and he's been... He's been a true variety streamer since he did that. Uh, contrary to my only runescape, pretty much. But... That's Steve, for those of you who didn't know him. Alright, we're finally here at the end of the ramparts. This guy's shield is pretty beefy, but I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Okay, let's 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 just calm the fuck down, all right? Let's just calm the fuck down, badass loader. I don't like you. I don't like you. I really wish these fuckos weren't resistant. There we go. That's how you do it. I wish they weren't resistant to fire damage. No big deal. If you didn't know, here's a fun fact about playing a Gunzerker. If you empty your magazine and then immediately gun Zerk, it auto-refills the magazine for the gun you were just holding. So, I actually... You may not notice it, but I always pay attention to that while I'm playing Salvador. And I'll, like, expend my last bullet and immediately gun Zerk and then shoot it again because it gives it back to you. Which is a very nice... I think it's intentional. It's very nice. But it's a good thing to do if you play a Gunzerker. I'm not even gonna snipe, I'm just gonna there we go. Gonna hit him with the old shooty gun. Alright. Crappy shield. Crappy shield, crappy shield. Mmm, crappy machine gun. If I liked TVRs, that would be pretty cool. Fortunately I don't. Alright, almost max that out. And Roland, hello, we saved you. I saved you. I don't have said we. You guys didn't help. All you're doing is watching. Come on, step up. Alright, cool. Now we can get out of this place. This godforsaken place that hurts my ears. Alright, back to Sanctuary. Here we go. 
You know what's funny actually about Steve coming by during this recording is, yeah, I don't know if it was yesterday, it might have been earlier today, but I was actually thinking about that occurring uh, not that long ago. Because I, I mean, he's my roommate, he lives right across the hall from this room, so I knew that he would stop by at some point during one of my recordings. And I was just thinking about it the other day. Alright. So this side quest, I have to get the injector from him, so before we head off... Yes, I shall. Give me that. All right. I really like the Mighty Morphin mission mainly because you get a lot of experience from the mutated Varkids and because the a Skyrocket Grenade mod just destroys them. All right, we're going to upgrade that one more time. Um, SMG, pistol, and grenade again. And I guess sniper. Sure, why not? That challenge we will most certainly be completing pretty easily. I don't think we'll have to hunt for the what are you buying challenge. Let's see. Eight of nine. Yeah, okay, eight of nine for that one. Take a look through the stuff I got actually. I really don't like TDR, I don't know why. Mm, using the Lasco in place of the Jacob's pistol, and those are bad. Okay. Makes that decision easy. I always like to check these um, because, for one thing, lockers tend to contain money. For another thing, these lockers and washing machines have one of the best chances for iridium, it seems like, um, out of all containers of this type. So every time you come back here in a new session, it's good to check those. Alright, and we got something upstairs as well. As amusing as it might be to see them attempt to How the hell did those bandits society? snag you anyway? Got something new right. for you. Cult. Forgot about the cult. Wow, you are a dumbass. Yeah, I, uh, these overlapping voice lines starting to get to me. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and deposit these just because I'm not planning on. Hello, go down. Thank you. I'm not planning on using either of them, so. <laughs> All right. Um, let's take a look at our quest. So, uh, oh, right, for one thing, <laughs> I just rescued Roland and need to talk to him. So I will do that. Then there's going to be a lengthy dialogue, if I recall correctly. Handsome Jack is going to kill us all unless you can stop him. He means hi. That's his way of saying hi. Right. Sorry. Hi. Look, I'll be honest, soldier. We're losing this war. We've been trying to stop Jack for years. Sorry, I was quiet <laughs> for a moment there. I just like really needed to drink some water. I've been talking for like uh, 27 minutes uninterrupted, more or less. And my mouth is feeling a little bit dry. And I'm also having one of those nights where like water is the most delicious thing ever. I'm sure you have that, like you know, some days you just can't get enough food. You like you, you feel like you could eat nonstop all day and not really feel full. And then some days you're just like really thirsty and water is like amazing. And I'm just having a night like that. Certainly more healthy than the days where food can't satisfy you. Drinking water is probably okay, no matter how much you have. I don't know why I'm listening to this. I don't know if it'll let me... It won't let me switch while the dialogue is going. God damn it, that's right. Well, probably gonna do that one first. Then I can activate the next step of the story mission, because he's gonna send us there anyway. I was like, oh, I can go grab the pizza from Moxie's, that's right. We'll do that. Uh, excuse me. Maybe edit that out. You can leave in the excuse me, but maybe edit the burp out. I don't know. Um. There's a problem. We need the vault key to wake the warrior, and Jack's already got it. But if you've spoken to Tennis. She didn't vomit Wait for him to talk. Get my updated objective. Go to Tundra Express, I think. I think it's my plan. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll do the other side quests uh next episode. This episode I'm just gonna do the Mighty Morphin and begin the story mission. I'm just gonna wake Mordecai basically. Yes, I know. Man, the dialogue is long. 
All right. So the way I do this is not by using a fire weapon, actually. All right, no Savage Lee spawn. All right, cool. So, whoa, all right, couldn't have predicted that. Like, I saw the wall approaching, and I was like, well, I'm going to stop moving. That was way better, actually. All right. Yeah, the way I do this is I don't use a fire weapon, and he's like, you need a fire weapon. He says that in your ear, but uh, you really don't. Because there are... You'll have to signal our man. Yep, I'll signal him. There are these buttons you can push, which will cause a bunch of fire to shoot out, and if you can burn three at a time, then you win. So, that's what I like to do, it's easy. And it doesn't require me to be paying attention to my loadout before I get here. So, because this is one of the missions that uh, does not give you, does like not place a fire weapon into your inventory, because again, it's not required. When there are required mission items, it tends to give you one automatically. You see these things here. I don't know what purpose they could possibly serve, like why they were built. Looks like they are the ends of jets, or like rockets. I don't know why each of these fields has one. I also can use the fire melon. So you got three options, really. Gun, fucking rocket. Rocket. Lost. We're going to hit this button. Oh my god, I can't hit it and then run away, because it'll set you on fire too, of course. There you go, see how easy that is? You just lure them to one of those towers and hit the button and then run. And you don't gotta fuck around with it, and you don't gotta worry about one-shotting the Varkids, because they're very weak. And you wake up Mordecai very easily. So loud. So angry. So dead. One dies. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, actually, before I do anything else in this area, I'm going to let a couple of these Varkids hit me. Easy Game of Thorns challenge progress. Come back. Come back and die. All right. Actually, I can do this. Let's start on the Mighty Morphin. Gonna burst out, and here is my grenade. Bye bye. Oh shit. Oh, okay, this is probably a mistake. I spawned two, and this one is kind of out of the range of my grenade. There we go, there we go, there we go. That'll work. That'll kind of work. Didn't work as well as I would have hoped. Hello, Iridium, come back, come back, come back. Okay. All right, two more of those, and we're done with that quest. Pretty easy. Also, another thing you might not have known is... Hello, little guy. Whatever. Another thing you might not have known is that a Varkid is more likely to go into a pod and try to transform into the next stage if it has already been injured. Because when they go into the pod, they get stronger and also regain all their health. So it's like a defense mechanism, I suppose. So if you're getting impatient waiting for them to go into a pod, you can just like melee them once and then run away. Of course, if you're wearing a spike shield like me, that's not going to work. Because then they're going to hit you and kill themselves like that. I didn't even want for that to happen. I want... Stop it! I want pods. I'm just going to run. Alright, that was the pod noise. You can hear it. One, two... Run, turn, jump, throw a grenade. Also, I don't know if you guys knew this, but if you shoot the pod before they have a chance to get out of it, it's very easy to kill them because the pod itself has not that much health, but you also get the same amount of experience you would have gotten by killing them after they come out of the pod. So. While you're running through areas like this, pay attention to the sound the Varkids make when they go into a pod, because you just give it a second or two to start actually forming. 
you destroy it very easily and you get the full experience for the adult Varkid, which is pretty cool. So, 99. Okay. Uh, I don't know if it's worth trading out. No, definitely not. Look at that magazine size difference. Jeez. No, fuck that. Okay. Alright. Shotgun, on the other hand... That's, that's a good pickup. I don't know if I'm going to switch to it right away. But it's definitely good to have just because before... I mean, not not yet, obviously, but before too long, we're going to be coming up against some loaders. And when I say some loaders, I mean a lot of loaders. So the corrosive damage would be nice to have, but I may have out-leveled that shotgun by the time that really comes to pass. So, well, hang on to it for now. Let's go ahead and pick up this shit... I'm just going to save and quit to the beginning of this area, sell the things I don't want, and then we'll probably call it for the episode. I think this has been a pretty good one, actually. Um, despite it being 12.48 in the morning, i feeling pretty good. I like this one was actually somewhat entertaining and stuff. I hope you enjoyed it. All right. and if you didn't enjoy it, then maybe you just don't have a sense of humor, because like I said, it was totally entertaining, and I couldn't possibly be wrong. And it couldn't possibly be subjective either. It's just a fact. Right, we're gonna hang on to that. Sell the rest of this garbage. And that's gonna do it for me. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Borderlands Too Easy. I'm Tripwire. I hope you'll join me for the next episode. And I will see you then.